Welcome everyone. We are very excited that Jacqueline is joining us for this panel. Um, this topic has been very difficult for anybody who is a meat eater and you know is trying to transition towards a vegan or a vegetarian diet. Leaving meat is not easy. It comes with its own baggage. But to be honest, it's quite easy also, right? Because if you have clarity on what to do next, how to maintain your fitness goals, how to be healthy, how to be fit without meat, without dairy, living a plant-based life, then it's pretty easy. So I'm so excited to have all of you here with me. Jacqueline, let's start with you. Um, what does your fitness regime include? And what is the biggest change in your fitness routine after leaving meat? Hi everyone, thank you so much for having me here today. This is a very important conference, honestly, for me even to be at and also to have such amazing panelists here. Thank you for uh, joining us on the stage and thank you for having me. So you asked me about my fitness regime. Well. I have been an actor for at least 15, 16 years right now. So I used to follow a very different fitness regime before. I think before it was more about aesthetics. When I used to work out and I used to choose my diet and I used to choose what I wanted to eat, it was more about is this going to make me look better? It was always about is it going to make me look better? Is it going to make me look thinner? Um, will it like make me look more beautiful? It was always about aesthetics. And I think now when I approach my fitness regime, it's more about is there balance in my life now? Do I have mental clarity? And that was actually something that came along when I decided to go meatless three years ago. And I have to say the journey was not easy. It was very easy for me to transition into meatless. Uh, transitioning into vegan was a little bit more challenging, I would say. But like you said, it's not impossible. It could definitely happen. And it really does, what I feel was the biggest achievement or probably the best success out of it was that it did give me a lot of mental clarity. It gave me a lot of peace. And um, it's not about aesthetic anymore. It's about being holistic and having a holistic approach to my lifestyle, which I feel it has given me. So, yeah. Amazing. We have a picture of you, uh, you know, of your fitness routine. Can we also my show fitness that? routine? <laughs> yeah, I must be complicated. A fit picture of oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I actually have. I mean, yoga has been a part of my life. Um, who was our host just now? She just told me I, I used to go to the same yoga classes as you. So that was something that I have been doing for a very very long time. Again, I feel that we used to approach fitness and we used to approach our diets more about how it would make us look. And I would have so many people coming up to me and be like, hey, how did you, how are you, how do you have those toned arms? Or tell us about how do you achieve those calf muscles? And it was always, or how are you so skinny? A lot of times I used to get that as well. And um, that was the ideal at one point in my life for me. I would say that is not the way it is anymore. And uh, really now it is about having a very overall approach. So yoga definitely fits very, very well into anyone looking to go into a holistic approach towards fitness. I would definitely recommend yoga. Yeah, fitness is mental fitness, mental clarity as well. Mind it, targets, it targets everything. It targets your flexibility, your strength, your mental clarity, which I think it needs to be well-rounded when you're approaching it. I love that. Our perception of fitness is so limited, but it's you know time that we expand that. Could you tell us what brought about this change for you? So, I think, well, a couple of years ago, I was gravitating and wanting to learn more about spirituality and uh, go deeper into it. So, I started studying about Paramhansa Yogananda and Babaji and I started going deeply into meditation and looking at the benefits that it would give us and also his teachings about how we need to be one with nature and we need to have a lot of mental clarity if we want to live a good life and it was three years ago that I uh, I checked myself into their ashram which was in Mud Island and it was a very very tumultuous time for me so it was it was New Year's it was gonna be New Year's of 2022 and I wanted to just get some peace my mother had unfortunately just had a stroke and I was not able to be with her so 
I decided that I really wanted to utilize this time and um, be at one with myself and send her a lot of energy. And the thing was, I woke up on the 1st of Jan, 2022, and I said, I'm never ever gonna touch me again. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I don't want to contribute to any more suffering and I wanna you know, just change the way my life is right now. And that just happened for me.